It's the morning of the VHF UHF field day. Only a few hours left to go, but I thought I'd do a little bit of portable off riding on 70 centimeters. Usually field day activity is on SSB, but there's occasionally a few people on FM. One of the reasons for me going portable FM is to test this Retivus handheld. This handheld is the Retivus RB22. It's a new model. It does 70 centimeters FM and DMR, though I haven't yet tested the DMR function. I received this handheld courtesy of Retivus, to whom all inquiries should be directed. I'll do more of a review in a future video. Five watts output, but for some extra gain, I've got this six element beam. I didn't take a mast, but at least if I'm holding it by hand, I'll be able to make it vertical or horizontal, which is good because a lot of people in the field day will be using horizontal polarization. I won't have much height right here, but further down, there's a bit of a mound that I'll get a valuable extra couple of meters. I'll just use two frequencies. 439 megahertz which is the simplex calling frequency here and 439025 which is another simplex frequency I can use that if 439 is busy CQ CQ field day VK3 Yankee Echo Portable I've now gone right to the end of this breakwater. That gives me about one or two meters extra height and a much better view. Some of the stations I am hoping to work, if they're on FM, will be over in that direction. Right here is a busy boating channel. In fact, I think one of the busiest in Victoria. It's the mouth of the Patterson River. And there's a residential estate just through there called Patterson Lakes. And that's one of the few places in Melbourne where people can live and have a boat at their back door. And so they can come out through this channel, which many are today. Here's a good feature of the Retivus that I want to point out. The button down here. Just press it and it unmutes. That's handy if you're trying to hear weak signals. Not only that, but if you press the push to talk, rather than going back to mute, it remains unmuted. I like that feature if you're trying to contact people with weak or varying signals. Something I didn't like as much was the volume control. Whereas with most radios they have a potentiometer where you've got continuous adjustments, in the case of the Retivus it's discrete stepped adjustments. And some of them are quite coarse, particularly at the lower volume end of the range. For instance here I've got the radio unsquelched, I'll just turn up the volume and have a listen to the noise. It's a very large and sudden step. I'll go up a bit more. And you can hear the steps.
but particularly between nothing and the first step which may be too loud in a very quiet environment it's a bit too much and it was a bit fiddly to get it on its lowest step and the gap to the next one is too much still especially if you're using headphones or earphones it shouldn't be too much of a problem especially in a noisy environment i tried using a homemade tape measure yagi but uh the wind is knocking around so i'm just using my portable for the the uh, wheelchair antenna and that's about it five nine nine zero zero five I am at Queen Fox 22 Hotel Lima, Queen Fox 22 Hotel Lima, and I am on Mount Gisborne. Hit no worries, thanks for contact us, BK3 Tango Charlie Park, 73. CQ, CQ, CQ field day. VK3KZM, VK3YE portable. Five nine zero zero one here five nine one um, PK3YE PK3KZM. Yeah, no problem. I know who you are. <laughs> yes, uh, the locator is QS twenty one Oscar Sierra O S O S. Uh, it's vertical, it's vertical, but I could easily go horizontal. Okay, I was just, I just wondering, because I'm, I'm obviously horizontal, because um, I'm used to just doing sideband, so um, I think maybe that's why you're a bit scratchy, and obviously because you're mostly pointing north, but um, no, it's, it's fantastic, uh, really well done. Oh, well, I'm now horizontal, I'm now horizontal, so uh, hopefully that's made a difference, over. Up a lot, yeah. Um, that's really, really good. Full quieting. 